So next up is Jialin Ru from the International Cooperation Department of China Photovoltaic Industry Association, CPIA. Uh, Jialin will share with us today China's solar industry technology roadmap and provide an update on PV technology developments in China. Welcome to Tying News, Jialin. The floor is yours. Hello, hello, can you you? And uh, with a minute, I would like to share my screen. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, thank you. Good, uh, good morning and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Ru Jialin from China Photovoltaic Industry Association. I'm very glad to have this opportunity to participate in today's High Efficiency Solar Technology Conference, which is organized by Taiyan News. Today, I would like to talk about the current solar industry development in China and uh, mainly about the uh, update on the EV market and the technologies. But before we talk about the market, uh, I would like to introduce about uh, CPIA. China Photovoltaic Industry Association is a national industrial and non-profit organization with members from the uh, voluntary base that include businesses, government institutions, social organizations, and manufacturing, education, and services of photovoltaic, photovoltaic producer equipment suppliers and applications. CPIA provides services to business, industries, and the government. And the CPIA also serve as a bridge between the government and the business. We also promote the international exchange and the corporations. And we are very glad to have a chance to communicate with all of you. Now, well, let's back to the, about the PV market. Uh, today, I would like to share two parts of the content. Uh, the first part is about the China PV market development. And the second part is about the PV technology in China. As we all know, climate change is a common problem in human society. The Chinese government promises to peak carbon dioxide emission by the year of 2030 and uh, strive to achieve carbon neutralization by year of 2060. In the past two years since the implementation of carbon peaking and the carbon neutrality goals, we have made solid progress in various tasks, achieved a good start and made better expected progress, especially in PV industry. The integration of PV and other industries bring very good opportunities and a good environment. PV industry development will play critical roles in helping China achieve its goals. And uh, we also, that's, that's also promote the PV installations and the PV integration from all, from many, many parts. Like we can see if PV can integrate with industry, with buildings, with agriculture, with desert control and so on. About the uh, installation market, uh, from January to October in this year, the Chinese, uh, Chinese uh, China market, uh, PV market newly installed 52.6 gigawatt and uh, more than doubled compared with the previous previous years. And this is a very significant growth. And that's also a largest increase in the last five years. And in on this chart, we can see that the commercial scale in so commercial and the residential installed about 35.3 gigawatt, take about 67% of the newly installed nation. 
and the utility scale installed 17.3 gigawatt takes about 33 newly installed percent in newly installations. You can see commercial and residential part growing very significantly. Behind the largest growth installations, and there must be technologies supported. Now, I would like to talk about the technologies. From January to October, Chinese company set laboratory efficiency record 10 times, and uh, seven of them were untapped -tap, un solar cells. And uh, also in this November, in the last uh, few days ago, Chinese company has achieved a new breakthrough efficiency of its silicon solar cells. Uh, maybe we all know that's Longji. Uh, this company has set a new record efficiency at uh, 26.81% uh, for the HJT silicon solar cells on full set silicon wafer through mass production. That's a very great uh, achievement. As we all know, uh, PV technology is developed very rapidly. In order to reflect the developing development, CPA has published the China PV Industry Development Roadmap for six consecutive years. The roadmap contains not only development direction of PV technologies, but also information on industry, market, and other aspects reflecting the current consensus on, on the future development of PV industry. On this page, you can see the, all the content uh, available at the CPIA's website. And the, this is the sixth edition uh, about the CPIA's roadmap that contains seven aspects. Today, I would like to share some content about uh, wafer sales module and uh, uh, system. This version was published on this January, and uh, we will make appropriate adjustment to this content according to the industry development and the changes so that we can reflect the physical condition of the industry in more timely and more accurate manner to better get development of the industry. The updated in, uh, edition we published annually, and uh, it's also hope that we also hope that the roadmap can become a wind venue for the development of PV industry. And the next edition is expected to publish uh, before next March. Uh, uh, I would like to talk about uh, the content of wafer about wafers. In last year, the mono silicon wafer, uh, both the P types and N types, has a market share about uh, uh, ninety four point five percent. The crystal silicon and the further increase market share, and the share of uh, N type. Uh, Silicon wafer will continue to increase. And in the last year, the silicon wafer different uh, with many different size are well, or different wafers are available. The total market share of the 182 millimeter and the 210 millimeter size have increased rapidly. Market share last year increased from 4.5% to 45%. And this trends will continue to grow in the in the future years. About uh about the efficiency uh, sales efficiencies. The P-tab 
sales have achieved a uh, average conversion efficiency about 23.1%. The NTAP Topcom sales and the HJT sales have achieved average efficiency of 24 and 24.2 respectively. And uh, we can see on this on, the, on this table, the IBC sales have achieved average efficiency of 24.1%. With technological progress in the future, the NTAP sales will be one of the main development direction of sales technology. In the last year, the newly established production line still dominates uh, by the pork sales production. The, the market share of pork sales uh, grows to more than 90%. And the relatively cost of the NTAP sales, mainly including HJT and Topcon sales, is relatively high, and they are in still a mass production scale. In the future, the NTAP scales market will, will grow. And the, the mainstream, mainstream sales increase about the Nine bus bar and the more than nine bus bar technology will pre prevail in the market. With market share increased by 22.8 from 2020 to 89%, it expected that the market share of nine bus bar and the more than nine bus bar sales will continue to increase. And some less than nine bus bar, some like Five bus bar, bus bar will disappear in the future. In last year, the power of conventional polysilicon modules, uh, like we can see, the black silicon module is about uh, the modules power is about twenty uh, about three hundred forty five watts. And the module using uh, two, uh, 210 millimeters per mono silicon cells have achieved uh, 550 watts. And the 66 cells, uh, to cells per power reached uh, 660 60 watts, respectively. And the module using 210 millimeters cells, single top count mono silicon cells have uh, achieved, achieved the, the uh, very high power, uh, reached uh, 645 watt. In, in the last year, the market share of beneficial modules is increased by 70% to 37.4% compared with the previous. And uh, it is estimated that by the year, by the next year, the market share of single, of single double set of single and uh, double set modules will little change in the growth. Uh, in the last year, in the total investment module of the, the LCOE of utilities power situation for equivalent utilization hours, we calculated uh, 180,000 uh, 1, hours and 1,500,000, 1, also 120 and 1,000 hours. The, re uh, the relatively compared uh, uh, RMB and uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.3, 0 0.37 yuan kilowatt respectively. And uh, we also calculated the investment about the equivalent distributed commercial PV power generation system equivalently. The our, uh, this uh, LCOE compared is uh, 
only zero point one nine to zero point thirty three kilowatt respectively. That's uh, what I would like to share to, uh, today. Thank you. Thank you, Jolene.